We are pleased to present Maryland SNAP-Ed's Exploring Maryland Food, a farm to school curriculum. In this segment called Conquering Food Waste, we will learn about food waste, how food waste can impact our environments, and ways we can reduce food waste at home, school, and in our community. Have you ever heard someone say, my eyes were bigger than my stomach, or don't waste your food? Both of these statements refer to something called food waste. Food waste may not sound like a big deal if it is only a few pieces of broccoli or chicken on your dinner plate. According to the University of California, of all the food that is produced worldwide, about one third of that food is never eaten. In the United States, we waste around 30 million tons of food each year. Food is wasted on the farm, farmer's markets, retail stores, restaurants, schools, and even at home. Food can be lost or go to waste on the farm if there is weather, insects, or disease infestation that wipes out the crops. Food can also become damaged or destroyed if it is not stored properly after it is harvested. A farmer must spend money in order to grow the food we eat. When that food is wasted on the farm, the farmer loses money. Grocery stores purchase food from farms, distribution companies, and manufacturing companies. If food goes bad or is damaged, not only is the food wasted, but that costs the grocery store money. Let's imagine that your family is going shopping for food and you really want fresh broccoli for dinner. You are in the grocery store and pick out the best looking head of broccoli to buy. Your mom pays for it and you take it home. At last, it is dinner time and your family takes a seat around the dinner table. Your little sister is so excited to try broccoli that she puts a heaping helping of broccoli on her plate and feels full before she can finish eating it all. You feel upset that the delicious broccoli is wasted, not to mention the money that mom spent at the grocery store. Don't get mad. Instead, talk with your family about ways you could reduce food waste. If you would like to brainstorm some ideas with your class, take a moment to pause the video. One idea might be to only put a small portion on your plate at one time. You could always come back for more, and uneaten food can be stored in the refrigerator to eat later. Next, make sure to eat the leftover food before it spoils, so your parents could plan to serve it again this week with a meal. It's easy to do. Your mom can pack some cut up in your lunch, and even put the broccoli and salad for dinner. This is one way to save produce, when you buy or grow more than you can eat. Another way that families can save money and reduce food waste is to plan meals ahead of time and make shopping lists before going to the store or farmer's market. This way, they only buy what they need and not too much of things they won't eat. When we shop for fresh produce, we usually look for fruits and vegetables that look picture perfect. If we see something that has a funny shape, we might assume that there is something wrong with it. However, what most people don't realize is that this happens in nature and it doesn't affect the taste at all. Since these fruits and vegetables are often passed over, they are referred to as ugly produce. In order to prevent these items from going to waste, farmers may donate or allow volunteers to glean or pick this ugly produce. They can also sell slightly damaged or misshaped produce to manufacturing companies that will process and make new food products like sauces, jellies, or soups. We have discussed how food is wasted at home in ways that we might be able to reduce how we waste food. But what about when we are away from home? One such place is the school cafeteria. Whether you eat school lunch or pack, there have probably been times when you felt full and didn't eat everything on your tray or in your lunchbox and threw away food. The next time you go to the cafeteria, look for a share table where people can place uneaten, unopened foods. If a student has an unopened milk, juice, fruit cup, yogurt, or other unopened food, they can leave it on this table for someone else to take. This is great for everyone because the food isn't thrown away and someone else gets to enjoy it. Otherwise, foods that won't go bad, like an apple or fruit cup, can be saved to eat later. How can you reduce food waste if you pack your lunch? Well, we discussed sharing packaged food like applesauce. What if you are throwing away partially eaten food? What about packing a little less food? For example, if you normally pack a whole sandwich, a piece of fruit, carrot sticks, and a dessert, what could you cut back? Perhaps pack half a sandwich? Maybe save the dessert to eat when you get home from school? What happens to wasted food that is thrown in the trash? Does it just disappear? Unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. Food that is thrown in the trash is transported to a landfill where it is either thrown on top of other trash bags or put into an incinerator and burned. 
Neither of these are ideal for our environment because the trash in the bags that stay in the landfill will be there for a very long time. The trash inside the bags decompose and it produces a stinky gas called methane. Not only is methane stinky, it is also bad for the environment. If the trash is burned in the incinerator, the fire produces another gas called carbon dioxide. Both methane and carbon dioxide are greenhouse gases that are harmful to our environments and contribute to air pollution. Lastly, you can turn trash into treasure by making compost out of food scraps. Composting is the process in which fruit and vegetable scraps are mixed with yard waste, such as dried leaves and grass clippings. Then, with the help of little critters like worms, insects, and helpful bacteria, the waste is decomposed or broken down into a nutrient-rich material called compost. Once it is fully decomposed, there is no odor and it looks like nice, rich soil. Compost can be added to our gardens to improve the soil and help grow healthy plants. For gardeners and even farmers, composting is a great way to recycle food and plant waste without causing harmful pollution. Now it is time to think about what you can do to help reduce food waste. Think of things you can do at home, school, and when you are at a restaurant. Also, think of all the steps that food took to get to your plate. And remember to thank a farmer for your food.